Right, viewers of Hey You Crow, um, it's been a tough, tough couple of days. There's been the recent death of our family link to Dame Vera Lynn, dying on 18th of June. A sad passing. Uh, I have my own personal link there, uh, as noted from my previous uh, remembrance and as a result I had to phone up today or today as well in relation to Ian Holm to check a few details uh, with my aunt who confided uh, in relation to Vera that she and my grandmother uh, Minnie once met up at um, probably Wanstead Park somewhere in East London uh, on, a, on a day trip very soon after the Rose Theatre event um, walking the dogs uh, and such and uh, Minnie, my grandmother happened to offer <laughs> Dame Vera uh, Whilst they were chatting a uh, bite of their sandwich, <laughs> uh, which was declined, um, but it's cosmically amusing um, and doubly ironic because today, uh, whilst preparing for remembrance aspects towards uh, almost bumping into our Anton Yelchin late of 2016 on this date, we also have the sad demise of Sir Ian Holm, CBE, uh, another very staunch supporter of the Rose Theatre site uh, campaign under Sam Wanamaker. And uh, I'll just try and briefly run through some uh, linking highlights. Ian here with Elijah, who I also bumped into. Sorry, Uncle. I'm afraid I lost it. Referring to the ring. Should like to have held it one last time. Another hidden reference to the Rose Theatre site. Seen here at the end of Return of the King. Which I'll just pause. Ian Holm was one of the uh, few actors who, as a great character actor, could have played relatively easily Sam Wanamaker. Uh, recently taken over by the role of Nicholas by Nicholas Hammond, who also shook hands with. Um, now the main connection here between Lord of the Rings is my very first celebrity claim to fame from October of '88, and I'll just skip back to where the Lord of the Rings all began. To the one scene, one scene that represents our connection with a referenced line just coming up as they go indoors. Comes. Uh, 
And here we have the most direct representation of events linking several films with the happening event of 1989. And this sort of thing happening on that day, this is the closest rescreened representation that I've seen yet. Whole lot of this was going on. Later in The Hobbit, the same role of Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins was taken over by Martin Freeman. Obviously, Syrian is still playing Gandalf. And <laughs> I didn't realise, because I'm sort of uh, in semi-contact with Ian uh, prior to the making of this film, that he'd <laughs> built in this exchange, uh, seated exchange between this scene... In this scene, it's almost a re direct representation of when we met in '88. Because of that armchair. Stay out late. Come home after dark, trailing must of twigs. Down a rabbit hole. And thus the battle was won. And the game of golf invented at the same time. Now, this also connects Sylvester McCoy. Two references to the happening events. Two different casts associated with 1989 releases. And link to another of day's events which <laughs> Sylvester uh, is an uh, irony in itself because Ian Holm not only did Ian Holm attend uh, events multiple events at the Rose Theatre site and was a very staunch supporter of Sam Wanamaker's uh, efforts towards building the globe and saving the Rose Theatre sites uh, from demolition. Uh, it turns out that Anton Yelchin, who connects in other ways, uh, also turned up at least five times uh, in in that vicinity over several years. Um, so. Is you know, connecting to different PR PR campaigns which he was involved in. So it means I can nip back to mentioning one of his finer moments as the character Cornelius in the Fifth Element, for which I have a couple of different events. I was there present at the filmed for Channel 4 live event premiere in Leicester Square. I attended, I still have the ticket. And I have a different theory to offer you, sir. Yeah, it's um that's Ian Holm there as Cornelius. An absolutely phenomenal role for him. And uh, the second link was that in 98, after that premiere, the whole cast descended on the Rose Theatre amidst several other promoted PR campaigns. And virtually all the main actors, including this one, I can't remember his name offhand, apologies, uh, but virtually the entire cast were in attendance and I was sort of like foot worth away from half of them. Oh, we put it through the cellular. 
and this scene itself, the prop, the tube here, the bio bed sort of set up, and of course, it's the the actor in the general's uniform, but also in attendance. Obviously, all this gadgetry here is CGI, but the bio bed itself was in existence and came through past the Rose Theatre site. And this is Brian James, excellent actor, also sadly passed several years back, who I uh, shook hands with um, twice actually, <laughs> both that day uh, in 98 and previously at the happening event in 89. Um, hell of a thing, he was with Sylvester then. Uh, man. Miss that actor, he was a good character actor as well. Right, getting back to Ian. Miller's scene here. In... Here we go, in the tube. Is also a direct reference to two other films. One of them involving Ian, which is Alien. Another Tattoo reference to the happening event. Tattoo. <laughs> she says she knows exactly where they are. And the box. And this little hoard. <laughs> and <laughs> and Zorg himself, Oldman, uh, were all in attendance. <laughs> Let me just put it this way. When you're in a location and guys dressed like this turn up uh, in 98, it's a hell of a thing. The uh, big irony being, <laughs> when they were showing uh, this particular scene is when in 98 Ian Holm was approaching me and he gave me this sort of like really quizzical look very similar to the previous look that Ian McKellen's scene showed and he said you still here <laughs> and I couldn't make out and then he walked off and I couldn't make out uh, whether or not he was actually referring to the happening event back in 89 and I couldn't you know, did he remember me? <laughs> it's just bizarre. But we shook hands and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ian. Now, this is uh, one of the final scenes relevant. We have Ian. And it's relevant to uh, two other films most specifically the cast of the Raiders of the Lost Ark trilogy and also a previous role linking to Roger Moore Shout at the Devil um, which is quite a quite an interesting uh, link many of the cast also attended the happening event which is one of the reasons why uh, I'm homaging and remembering uh, Ian Holmes' visits. Now, Ian, as I said, attended, whoops, attended in relation to several different things. Uh, the other third reference here is fire, as in uh, chariots of fire. Um, of course, there's also you know, previous stuff. Lots of previous films he was involved in were cast participants in the happening event. Most specifically, Brazil, Oh What a Lovely War, Man in the Iron Mask, SOS Titanic, 
which is a, another slight link to me. Uh, one which was up and coming, being promoted on the day, was Blue Ice with Get Carter's Michael Kane and Greystoke, Tarzan. Uh, big, very popular at the event were <laughs> all the cosplaying actors from Time Bandits and uh, most specifically um, 89 into 90 Ian Holm was doing both Henry V and Hamlet again direct Shakespearean links to Kenneth Branagh um, who was also attending uh, major major cast attendance there for both films and basically uh, on subsequent events there was the madness of King George Frankenstein the borrowers and naked lunch in 94 uh, which I referenced slightly with uh, that previous one linking to the shadow in Ian McKellen. Uh, 98 was the fifth element, although I'd already been to the premiere. 99, there was a, a, a thing linking to existence, and also in 2001 with Johnny Depp from Hell. Uh, and that brings us pretty much up to date, so I can now tell you a bit more about the situation regarding the first meeting, or almost meeting, um, the distraction meeting aspect uh, of when he was on stage at the happening event discussing his part as Ash. Fire for fire, earth for earth, go now. 